welcome back. We've still got seven bonding points, which means seven bonding scenes, so... Oh, are you planning on spending the day here? I am. The swimming club isn't meeting today, so I have some free time. I'll spend the day improving myself while attempting to think up an idea for the festival. Improving yourself? Are you doing push-ups in your room or something? Oops, well, you know, something along those lines. It's nothing of great importance, don't worry about it. Well, she says that, but... Spend time with Laura! Would you mind if I joined you with your training, then? Maybe a good match will help both of us think of something. Well, I suppose this is as good a chance as any. Would you mind coming out to the highway with me, Reen? Sure, I'll come, but why? You'll find out soon enough. Just come on. And so it was that Reen was dragged along without so much as an explanation. Before he knew it, he was standing with Laura on the highway east of Trista. Excellent. This seems like a fine spot. There's something I'd like your help with. Wait, what are we even doing out here? Now, I don't want to just jump to conclusions here. But if I didn't know any better, I'd say you brought me out here to have a picnic. Serene, I'd like you to try this. Oh, it looks lovely. Did you make it? I did. You see, Sharon's been teaching me the finer points of cooking lately. And this seemed like as good a situation as any to have you judge my current progress. Huh. Never would have expected you to take up an interest in cooking. You've got bandages all over your fingers, too. That's at least proof that you've been going at it full force. Well, I am still a lady, even if I'm a disciple of the sword first. Besides, I'm just approaching cooking as another part of my training. Doesn't hurt that it helps me be more ladylike. But that's neither here nor there right now. Just eat the food already. <laughs> Alright, I won't say no to something you put your heart into. Reen began eating the food Laura had prepared for him. Much munch. So, how is it? Can't deny that it doesn't exactly look all that appetizing, but I did put my all into making it. It's really good. Honestly, this is on par with the meal Sharon makes for us. No, that can't be the case. When you go that overboard with a compliment, it comes off as insincere. <laughs> Maybe so, but that doesn't change the fact that I meant it. Looking at the food, looking at your hands, I can tell how much care you put into it. And that care comes through in the taste. It really does. Well then, uh, I'm... I'm glad you like it. Reen enjoyed Laura's picnic feast as the warm sun caressed the two with its gentle rays. Question, though, to those people who do know. What's the little... pinky red thing at the front. Is that like where chopsticks are or something like that? Like a container for them? I'm not entirely sure, so please do let me know. Looks like I didn't even leave any leftovers. If you want undeniable proof it was great. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Seeing enjoy the food I made was a nice feeling. I hadn't expected cooking would make me feel that way. Um, would you like to do this again sometime, perhaps? Would I? Just name the time and the place, and I'll be there. Thank you. Oh, right. That meal should have given you plenty of energy. So let's move right along to our sparring. What? <laughs> that is what your first thought I dragged you out here for, isn't it? Come, grab your sword and let's begin. After a rousing sparring session, Reen and Laura finally returned to the dorms. I wanted to see the sparring session, but alright. Your bond with Laura strengthened. Somehow. 
Right, so ooh, we've moved downstairs, have we? Right, so who's up next on our list? Ah, Sarah. Let's see what's going on here. Where are you? Aha, you're at the. Where are you? At the bar, obviously. Are you already drinking? At this time of day? <laughs> yeah. I'm just in the mood for a quiet drink today. That's odd. But never mind me. You should be more worried about coming up with some brilliant idea for the festival. Me and my drink will be waiting right here for the good news. She seems a bit out of sorts today. Spend time with Instructor Sarah. Hey, mind if I joined you? They'd be kicking back here for a little while. Will help me come up with a good idea. <laughs> be my guest. Just take a seat beside me. I'll get you something to drink. She really does seem off today. I wonder what happened. Here you go. Who's that glass for? An old comrade in arms. Today is the anniversary of their death. Uh, it's been years now. Once a year, I'd like to buy him a drink. A comrade in arms? It's kind of a weird word for a bracer to use, isn't it? <laughs> Curious about my past, I take it. A little? I'm not going to ask you about it, though. You've never even brought this up before. It'd be wrong if to just ask you about it. Besides, it probably deals with things that are way over my head as it is. That's why you've stayed quiet about it until now, isn't it? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. But to be honest, I'm still a student. So much that I have to learn. So much that I still don't understand. One day, though, when the lessons I've learned and the things I've experienced allow me to stand as your equal, then I'll ask you to tell me about your past. <laughs> That's awfully grown up of you. Who knows? Maybe in a few years you'll even mature into my kind of man. <laughs> well, you are teaching me, so you never know. <laughs> Gives me something to look forward to. Oh, that's enough sentimentality for one day. That glass is all yours if you want it. Is encouraging underage people to drink a hobby of yours or something? <laughs> Lighten up, I'm just joking. Maybe. Your bond with Instructor Sarah strengthened. Alright, so... Next up is the bookstore. Mango. Oh, I thought it'd be on that side. 50-50 chance. Hmm. Get out of my way. I'm trying to read the books in front of me. How rude. Which should I go for? What are you looking for, Mango? Well, the upper and lower class chess clubs are joining forces for the festival. We're planning on holding chess classes, so they've asked me to find a good book for beginners. Looks like things have taken a turn for better there. <laughs> you can say that again. We might be able to dig up some good reference material here. Spend time with Mango. Mind if I join the search with you? That'd be perfect. Tell me if you stumble across anything chess related, would you? Will do. Hmm, I'm not seeing anything that we could use. There must not be too many chess books written for complete beginners. Well, it's not exactly the easiest game to wrap your head around. That's the whole reason you're holding the classes, right? <laughs> True enough. We'll probably even have to teach a few nobles given our collaboration with the upper class chess club. <laughs> hmm? Did I say something odd? Nah, I was just struck by how much you've changed. Look at you. Ready and willing to teach nobles to play chess. You think? I suppose you're right, actually. It's hard not to think of nobles in a slightly different light now that I've gotten to know so many of them. Definitely shows. 
really makes me wonder why I wasted my time being so stubborn beforehand. It, it, it was understandable. Like, once we learnt your story, it was definitely understandable. But Sis was sitting up there shaking her head in disappointment at me the entire time. Don't be so hard on yourself. Experience like that shape us as people. There's no need to deny any part of yourself. Just think of it as something you had to go through to make you the person you are now. <laughs> well, when you put it that way, I don't feel half as bad. But I'm going to make sure everyone, commoner and noble alike, has a great time at these classes. Even if it kills me. Maybe doing that will help me figure out the person I want to become. I think you will. And you're going to make the festival one to remember. Oh. Manko, take a look at this. Hmm? Reimpointed Mango to a book entitled Kitty Talk for Dummies. But next to it was Chess for Creepy Sheep. That's quite the title, alright. It seems like it's just the kind of book you're looking for. It's for children, so it's packed with illustrations and explains things really simply. I think we have our chess book. Thanks for the help. No problem. He certainly has grown. Your bond with Mango strengthened. So close. Right, next up, which seems like we're done in Krista itself, let's head on over to the Academy field and see about speaking um, to Yusus, wherever he is. Clearly not over there. Ah, ha ha ha! Hello, guys! Horses, yes? The Riding Club is planning to hold a contest of sorts. Largely helmed by a second year volunteers. In addition, there will apparently be a trial corner for those without much experience in horse riding. Sounds pretty interesting. I like the idea of giving people who don't usually get the chance to go riding the opportunity to experience it. We'll have to make sure the horses are well trained for it though, to reduce the risk of accidents. I intend on having an idea ready to propose to our class by this evening. <laughs> We'll be counting on you then. Maybe I should give him a hand. Spend some time with Yusus. Anything I could lend a hand with? I'm free right now, so just let me know if there is. Hmm. Follow me then. I have just the job for you. This is one relaxed horse. We are planning to let beginners ride him during the Academy Festival. He's very patient, even with inexperienced riders. Yeah, I can't imagine you'd have anything to worry about with a horse this gentle. I wouldn't make assumptions just yet. We need to test the limits of his stamina. Follow me. We're heading to the highway. Got it. This brings back memories. Rufus and I often used to go riding together like this. <laughs> I can relate. He used to ask my dad to take me along with him when he went hunting. Hmm. I'd like to meet your father one day. Huh? You and I have similar backgrounds. Not just in the sense that we're nobles. Wouldn't you agree? I would. But the biggest similarity being that, by common standards, we're not true nobles. Precisely. That's why I'm so curious about your upbringing. Rufus also mentioned that your father taught him about falconry some ten years ago. I believe that I could learn much about the nature of Erebonian nobility from him. <laughs> it's really weird to hear a friend of yours heap praises on your dad. But sure, I'd be happy to introduce you sometime. I want to show off all the great friends I've made here at Thor's anyway. Ah, sacrine as always. Still. What? Let's go back to the academy. Don't drag your heels. I'm pretty sure I just heard him say thank you there. <laughs> hey, wait up! Ah, Yusus. And so they race back to the academy. Your bond with Yusus strengthened. Yeah.
Reen and Yusuf reached link level 5. Rush. Right, who's next up on our list? B it is. Oh dear, Patrick, what's going on there? She's going to be so happy about her flowers. Uh, oh, look, there's a little one there. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa. These are the flowers you planted? Didn't realize so many of them would bloom at the same time. Great job, Fee. You help. I'm going to give some of them out now. A little smile. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea to me. Nothing wrong with showing off the fruits of your efforts. Yep. I'm still thinking of stuff for the festival, too. Thanks, but uh, it's fine if you focus on this for now. Cheers. Maybe I should help her with her flower deliveries. Spend some time with you. Need a hand with those? Sure. Let's start potting. I'm on it. Reen helped Fee pot her flowers. These flowers are really pretty. Did you ever find out what they're called? Edel said they're an herb. They're used for all kinds of remedies. Very practical. Ah, your old Jaeger core probably got a lot of use out of them. Oh, one more thing. Apparently they symbolize familial love. Ah. Do you miss the others in your core? Kind of. I don't feel lonely, though. I like it here. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I never thought I'd be able to raise these. I didn't understand what Adele meant by giving them love at all. I don't think that's the case. In fact, I think you're the only person who could have raised them so well. You spent plenty of time with all of us by this point. Most like a family of our own. And I know you care about us. Maybe you're right. <laughs> How wonderful. Oh, Adele, I... Adele pulled Fee to her chest and hugged her tightly. Oomph. Fee, as the head of the gardening club, there's not a thing in the world that could make me happier. Now you should go spread your love by delivering your flowers to everyone. Cut. Brave. <laughs> Can't say I ever wanted to trade places with Fee before now. Whoa, Reen! I'm really happy for her, though. Reen and Fee took the flowers and off they went. It's nice she gave one to Beatrix. It's interesting to see who she's going to give the flowers to. It's like, so far they make sense. I imagine one to Emma. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, Laura, Laura, Laura. It's got to be one to Emma, surely. With the help of the studying and stuff. Ah, oh, and Elisa. V walked around, handing out flowers as a way of saying thank you to the people who helped her during the year. Duh. Once they finished, he handed the last one to Reen, and they returned to the gardening club. Ah, oh, that is nice. Very nice. Ooh. Why does it say level up twice? Like, it was level up, level up. It's like, what? Very strange. You just got up then, I saw that. Um, let's see here. Let's go over to Gaius and see how his painting's going on. It's lovely paintings. Yeah, you know, he paints those beautiful pictures of... Like, Ebel in the... Where did these come from? What? There's actual paintings. Guys, how did you do this? How? Phew. I'm so busy lately preparing for my club's art show at the festival. Planning to display everything we've done this year. But there's so much of it. That getting it all ready is exhausting. <laughs> Looks like you really are suffering for your art. I'm still trying to think up a good idea for our class. I know you are too, so... Good luck with that. I'll do what I can. 
He really seems to have his hands full. Maybe I should help him out. Spend some time with Gaius. Mind if I help you out with that? Doing it all on your own seems tough. You sure? <laughs> well, then I think I'll take you up on that offer. Could you help me sort through my own works, then? Reen helped Gaius organize the art club's display for the festival. Phew, that's a lot of art. It would be so bad if I could lug everything around. But it's art, so I need to be extra careful. Can't let Gaius down, though. Hmm, this painting. <laughs> Looks like you found it. I was hoping to keep it hidden until it was finished, but that's life. So it is yours after all. Oh, that looks familiar. I like how they cropped out some things in it, because they would be spoilers. This is the Nord Highlands, isn't it? Yes, indeed. I received a letter from my family the other day, which contained a picture of Nord. I based my painting on that. It still needs a few finishing touches, though. Even incomplete, this is incredible. It's like I'm back in the Highlands, taking in the view. There are people on the hill, too. Hold on, is that... Based on what I saw in the image, it's Reen, Gaius, and Elisa. That's right. Class 7. So only three people there. There's a lot of beauty in the Highlands that you weren't able to experience during our field study. Yes, I actually agree on that. Because they come up in Cold Steel, too. There's some amazing areas there in Nord. Hope to share that with you, all of you. That hope never left my mind as I was painting. Thank you, Gaius. I'd love to see more of the Highlands, especially if we can bring along our other classmates who couldn't make it last time. You and me both. I look forward to all of us riding through the hills together when that time comes. Here's hoping it comes soon. Benedict, he has paintings. Why are they not using some of these things as like the, the stock painting that he's working on or something like that? I don't know. Your bond with Gaia strengthened. Is it if I press X, maybe it does that? Or is it... Or maybe, like, they're on a lower level first. It's so weird. It's like, I, I know what's... I know what's at the top on the left. It's like... Like, just where it's cut off. That's the pantagruel. Be funny. Hello! Like, there is canvases with actual pictures on. This is very strange. I'm just wondering where some of these things are. The flowers, they make sense with the roses and stuff. But that... Where's that? Because the, this is the thing. These are actual pictures. That looks like somewhere in the game, but I'm not entirely sure where. Whereas, obviously, this is the artwork for the Nord Highlands. That's the old schoolhouse. Or is it? Because the stairs below it. Hmm. Maybe, actually, that's um, the auditorium? From a certain angle? This? I'm not entirely sure. But we'll, I want to just go check the auditorium. Because I think I see the, like, the, the tower... So if we go to the academy building here. So I think it's just a picture from, like, this angle up. That seems to be the logical place, because, like, there's the auditorium and there's the tower up there. And there's the stairs in the bottom. Like, it's like it's like here or something. It's where the picture's angle is from. It's more like here. But still, you, you get my point there on where that is. Right, so let's go to the rooftop of the main building. And speak to our friend, Elliot. How's it going, Rain? Come up with any good ideas yet? I had much luck myself, so... Came up here hoping some inspiration would find its way into my head. Same here, really. Looks like Toa is a care package of inspiration ready to show us, though. Ah, well, knowing her, I'm sure whatever she's got in mind will be of a big help. Oh, by the way, the Wind Orchestra decided that we're going to hold music classes at the festival. That sounds like a good idea, actually. I'm hoping it'll be a good way to get more people into music. I'll be helping the club out with classes as much as I can. Should I hang out with Elliot for a while? Yes? Well, I've still got some time before I'm supposed to meet up with Toa. Mind if I hang out here with you? <laughs> no problemo. No problemo. 
Oh yeah. You know how I mentioned that Toa had an idea about what we could do for the festival? Based on what she said yesterday, you might end up with the biggest part. Seriously. I wonder what it could be. I guess we won't know until I ask her. One way or another, we need to decide on something tonight. Yeah, fingers crossed. With all the excitement right now, Thor's hardly even feels like an academy. There's an entire month to go. But the festival is the only thing on everyone's mind. It's wild. Even the upper-class students are taking initiative. They're working with their own two hands, too. I don't think there are too many academies like this one. I'm with you there. Hey, I know this might not be the right time, but... Hmm? You know, I was pretty upset that I couldn't attend the music academy at first. But I'm over it. Thanks to you guys. I'm glad that I was able to attend Thor's. <laughs> I feel the same way. It's been half a year now. Let's see if we can top it with the second half. Definitely. But before we worry about that, we've got to figure out our plans for the festival. Oh yeah. Probably takes priority. On another note, you have your violin on you, right? Would you mind playing it for a bit? Ah, <laughs> sure. Maybe a little music will inspire us to come up with something great. Oh, I feel like they could have done that scene a bit better. Like, have him play a bit of a longer song, like one of the ones we've heard him do previously. And have someone like below, maybe Monk or something like that, because he would get a story out of it. Just walking past below, looking up, being like, I like that. I like that piece of music. That would have been just a nice little touch to basically lean towards that idea of like what Elliot's like in the future. If that makes sense. There's that sort of thing of like his his idea of inspiring people and all that type of thing is just working out. That that would have been a nice touch, I feel. Doesn't ruin it that we haven't got it. See, if I press X there, it goes up twice. A coin there, anyway. It goes... Right, so... Hmm... Looking at the time, I don't want to... Really push things. Let's actually... See about getting some side quests done. I'm trying to think, like, how, where, where and when do I fit in the rounds and stuff like that. It's like the Shining Poms, but which is its foes, using the bright light it emits. So where are we on the quests? So we need to do from heart to stomach for mint. So I believe we'll do that at the start of the next part, because that, again, feels right. Because I'm probably going to be end up doing the quests, followed by the rounds. And then in the part after that, it would be the old schoolhouse. I'm just trying to think, like, preparing the next part, basically, is what I'm thinking. So we'll see you in the next part when we do from heart to stomach. Ta-ta for now.